Picking which smartphone to buy these days can be a pretty difficult choice considering there are hundreds if not thousands of smartphones out there. And one company, HTC, hasn't made the choice any easier by launching two almost identical looking phones. Next month it will put on sale the HTC One Mini 2, uh, which looks like just a shrunken version of its flagship phone, the HTC One M8, which launched er earlier this year. So which of these two should you buy? In terms of storage, battery life and software, the two phones are pretty identical. So let's take a look at the differences which will help you decide which one you should go for. The biggest and most obvious difference between the two phones is of course their physical size. The One M8 has a 5 inch screen and a large footprint, which is significantly wider and taller than the more compact Mini 2, which is a 4.5 inch screen. In terms of weight, as you would expect, the Mini 2 is much lighter, weighing in at 137 grams as opposed to 160 grams for the larger phone, but the Mini is not too light so as to make it feel flimsy. HTC has again skimped on the use of premium materials for the Mini version of its flagship phone, using a plastic surround on the Mini 2 compared to the all-metal construction of the One M8. Both of these phones are superbly designed and built, and while the One M8 has more premium materials, the Mini doesn't feel as if it is anything but a high-end phone. The big factor for me in choosing between these two phones comes down to the fact that I prefer a slightly smaller phone. If you could call a phone with a 4.5 inch screen, small that is. But many people would want a larger screen to watch films and play games, meaning the One M8 is the likely choice for them. The second major area where HTC is downgraded with the Mini 2 is the camera. The HTC One M8 introduced the duo camera, which added a depth sensor to work alongside the 4 megapixel ultra pixel sensor but allows users to create lots of funky 3D depth of field effects. HTC also included a dual flash for better low light performance and more natural looking images. The company has not included either of these on the Mini 2, using a more conventional 13 megapixel sensor which is perfectly acceptable, but doesn't challenge the likes of the Xperia Z2 or Nokia's Lumia 1020 for picture quality. Both phones feature relatively high resolution 5 megapixel sensors on the front. Processing power is one of the biggest areas where HTC has cut corners on its smaller phone. The flagship One M8 features the most powerful Snapdragon 801 chip from Qualcomm, along with 2 gigs of RAM. The One Mini 2, however, comes with a much less powerful Snapdragon 400 chip with just 1 gigabyte of RAM. What this means in the real world is that no matter what you throw at the M8, it should be able to handle without blinking. And while the Mini 2 is able to handle most operations without a problem, Graphically intense 3D games will see it struggle slightly. The final and possibly most important difference is of course price. The HTC One M8 costs £530 to buy outright, with contracts currently on offer for £28 a month with no upfront cost. HTC has yet to announce SIM free pricing for the One Mini 2, but considering the original Mini cost £379 when it launched last year, I would expect the price to remain the same this time around. You can pre-order the phone on contract for £25 a month with no upfront cost. So HTC may have produced two phones which look almost identical in terms of looks and design, but as you have seen in terms of their features, they are aimed at two distinct markets. The HTC One M8, its flagship phone, is aimed at those who are looking for the cutting edge technology who want a large, bright screen, who want to watch movies on the go, and who want to play games like Grand Theft Auto while on their commute. On the other hand, the HTC One Mini 2 is aimed at those who want a well-built and well-designed phone, but who aren't looking for the fastest processor or the most RAM, and who don't necessarily want to play Grand Theft Auto or happier playing Candy Crush on their commutes. Thanks for tuning in, and for all your news and technology reviews, make sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.